Hello and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. So I get a lot of questions asking how do I do tabbed terminal sessions inside of the Linux version of GNS3. So I'm running Linux Mint 13 with the KDE desktop environment and GNS3. And this is the latest and greatest uh, GNS3. At least I think it's the latest and greatest. Oh, I'm one back. So this is uh, 8.4 RC2. I think they just released RC3 just a couple days ago. Uh, but this, this will work. So let's open up a topology. So I'm going to open up. Uh, let's open up a Narbic topology. Boom. Okay. So we're opening up this topology, it's got uh, the six routers, bunch of switches, uh, kind of your prototypical CCIE practice lab. And let's fire this up. We'll click start and while that's start starting to get the tabbed terminal sessions all you have to do is after you install gns3 inside of linux you're going to go up to here to edit and then preferences and then head on over to terminal settings and then on this drop down you'll notice that we have a gnome terminal gnome gnome terminal I've never really figured out how to say that. Uh, KDE console, we got PuTTY, we got Xterm. So if you're running, it's kind of obvious here, if you're running the KDE desktop environment, you would pick KDE console. If you're running GNOME, then you would run the GNOME terminal. So here I'm running KDE console, just click on that. You'll see that it automatically puts in the appropriate terminal command for you. It's basically what's going to happen is for every new router, it's going to make a new tab. It's going to give a title for it. Uh, the title is going to match the, the router name, the host name. And then you just click on use. Now, after you click on that, uh, you don't have to mess with this anymore. Uh, the only thing you might want to change is uh, this thing down here, delay between each console. So when when you fire up uh, 10 routers or uh, yeah, 10 routers worth of uh, windows or tabs, uh, what you may want to do is tune this down. If you're running on SSD, you could do this at zero. Uh, but what I do is I keep it at half a second for each window. So let me see, let me show you what we got here. Everything's green, it's fired up. So now when I click on this console to all devices, you will see that after a split second, all my windows are up here, or all my tabs. I've got to stop saying windows. And you could uh, reorder them if you want, but what you probably want to do first is go to edit, copy input to all tabs. And what we'll, this will do is, you'll notice that you have an exclamation mark there. Just hit enter a couple times. What this is doing is, when you're on the tab that has exma exclamation mark, what if you type in is uh, repeated across all your tabs. So when you hit enter, it's actually hitting enter everywhere else, which is exactly what you want. You want to get off of that press enter to continue uh, option. So go back to edit to turn that off, go to none. And now whenever you go to any of your routers, you'll see that you are at the enable prompt, which is exactly what you want. And here you could reorder everything. Uh, I used to do that uh, when when I was starting off. Now, basically, I just leave whatever order it comes up, it comes up. I don't really care anymore because that really shouldn't trip you up at all. So that is it for having multiple tabs inside of your terminal for GNS3 Linux. Very, very easy. All you have to do is after you install GNS3 inside Linux, edit preferences, terminal settings, and pick the appropriate one we did KDE console because uh, that is kind of like the default for Linux Mint 13. And of course, if you're using the other one, you could use GNOME Terminal and you'll get the same thing, not a big deal. All right, thanks for watching.